Hello everyone, Imanence here. I will be showing in this video a highly recommended build for farming content. Note that in order to farm and kill monsters in open maps or even hunting grounds, you don't need exactly a specific build. You can do this with any character and build you like it. But I will show here a build with some skills that influences directly your own drops of silver and equipment. It's a beginner friendly and very fun and easy build to play. First, I'll make a brief comment on the role of each class in this build. After that, I will go over all of these skills, showing how they work. So, let's go! This is a scout build, and the base of the damage comes mostly from this class called Schwarze Heiter. It is that cool class that can mount in a companion and shoot with a pistol while moving. And this is a good thing because when it comes to farming, high mobility is very important. The second class for this build is the Taumaturge, which is a support class from Scout 3. They are important for two things. The first one is this buff called Swell Brain, which increases your own looting chance. In Tree of Savior, looting chance increases your chances of getting identifiable equipments like Bertus and Primus. You can dismantle these equipments in blacksmith NPCs in order to get some Sierra and Nuclear Powders, and there is a small chance of getting Ancient Jewels for enchanting your equipment. Or, if you have luck in finding some with good statuses, you can sell it or use it to craft your own icons. And what you can also do is using some equipments that gives you looting chance, as well as white gems in these equipments. Another important skill here is this one called Swell Buddy, which doubles the size of the monster for a few seconds, making them a little bit harder to kill. But if you manage to defeat him while this debuff is active, you'll get double drops. And the last class for this build is the Corsair. Corsair will give you some burst skills, buffs to your damage, and this very nice attribute here called Pillaging, which gives you a chance of getting extra silver from monsters. In order to activate its effect, you have to be a party leader. This means you have just to create a party, even if you are alone. And now I will briefly show every skill in this build. First, for scout skills, this is the signature skill of the class, Cloaking which makes you invisible. Free step, which is a evasion buff, and double attack will increase your damage, your critical rate, and a chance of dealing extra lines of damage. Oblique fire, you won't use this skill much, but it has an interaction with the Jolly Roger, which I'll explain later. It's a skill that bounces as you should. Now, let's talk about Schwarze Heiter skills. The first one, Concentrated Fire, is just a burst skill. This other skill here, Caracol, has a large recoil. An important thing about this skill is that it debuffs the target, making them to take 30% more damage from missile attacks. Rooted Shot, in my opinion, is the best Schwarze Heiter skill. When you turn this skill on for 10 seconds, you will shoot backwards as you move forward. When doing challenge modes, there is a very good trick here, you stay in a corner, walking against the wall, as you shoot backwards, dealing a lot of damage in a very large area. You can also use your auto attacks to shoot together with retreat shot on. Evasive action is another evasion buff. Lima Cone is the core skill from Schwarz Heiter. It's a buff that allows you to shoot while moving. I will show here a difference between using and not using this skill. Here I not using Limacon, and when I press the button to shoot, as you see my character stops. And now I will turn on Limacon, which also gives me a huge buff for my basic attacks. Now I don't stop anymore. And this is the most important skill for farming. The last one is a very important skill too, named Marching Fire. With this skill, you deal a lot of damage in a large area in front of you. Now onto Tematurge. Swell Brain, as explained before, is a buff that increases your looting chance and it enlarges your head. Swell Buddy is a skill that will increase the monster size in order to double their drops. But note that this skill doesn't work in elite and boss monsters. Shrink Body has the opposite effect of Swell Body, although it doesn't affect your drops, it's just about making the monsters easier to kill. Reversi is a skill that can turn a magic circle from your enemy into yours, but you probably won't use this skill. Quicken is a nice buff that increases your attack speed. 
and Soul Hands is a buff that increases your attack. Keep in mind that every Taumaturge buff requires Magic Powder as material. This is a very cheap material, you just have to go to your Scout or Taumaturge Master in order to buy it. And now, for Corsair skills. As I've mentioned before, the most important thing here about Corsair is activating this buff called Pillaging, and for that, you need to create a party and be the party leader to gain this Priot Head buff here. Another good thing here is this buff called Brutality, which improves your missile damage. Quick and Dead will be your strongest Corsair burst skill. Another good burst skill here is Hex and Dropper, which has almost a melee range, but has a nice damage. Jolly Roger is a pirate flag buff, you put it in the ground, and as you hit monsters around it, it will start to count this combo buff. And when you reach 100 combo buffs, you gain the Fever buff, which will increase the damage of your entire party. As you can see, this buff doesn't work much in farming because you have to stay close to this flag to activate it. It will work better in challenge modes or for bossing. All other Corsair skills you probably won't need it, so you can put the last 5 points whatever you want. There is no secret about this build. Half your first skills are about buffing yourself. Keep an eye on these skill durations because Quicken and Swell Heads have a low duration compared to the other buffs. It's just about walking around killing monsters. So that's it for this video, I hope it helped someone, please subscribe here, feel free to leave a comment and see you in the next video, bye bye.